Amy, you're such an inspiring person and you've achieved so much over such a range of fields. So whether it be high jump, presenting, modelling, the list goes on. And you said that by overcoming a brain tumour whilst training for the London Olympics really opened your eyes like nothing else could. Oh, so I was 19 when this happened. You know, I was a baby. I was not naive, but it was I was very much like nothing goes wrong, nothing bad will happen. Like every 19 year old. Yeah. <laughs> it changed my life in just so many different ways, but I found a very big thing. I was always conditioned, even with modeling, training, you're always focused on the next thing. It's always like you train, you work, and then you get to where you want to be, and then you drop that onto the next thing. You never kind of like appreciate the journey and the build to getting to where you want to go. So I really sort of like going through that, I very much learned to stop and just be like, okay, I want this, I have to get to here, but I have all this to do too. Yes. Because even with recovery, I was like, I want to be back jumping, I want to be modeling, I want to be doing this. And I was like, Amy, you need to Rest. learn to walk again. Like, so it was very much appreciating every little step I took on along the way. Being a model, you are exposed to a lot of professional makeup artists and getting your makeup done all the time. What's the biggest thing you've learned from us? I think I've learned the most would have to be really enhancing what you already have. I think it's never about like covering your face up, it's not about hiding things. And I think less is always more with yeah. makeup. Yes, I've discovered. <laughs> And I really like it because sometimes I find even when I put on too much makeup, I'm like, oh my God, who am I? <laughs> so what I'm doing, I'm just using a cream bronzer. You can use even a cream concealer and just going anywhere that you want to push back. Creams are really easy and I think the area that you do is around the halo of the head and under that cheekbone. But the way you do it with your brush affects the outcome as well. So if you want it to be heavier, uh -huh. you just kind of buff like this, but if you want it to be a little bit more blended, you can press it and it will blend in. <laughs> I just use my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, that's okay as well. It just, application really is a big part of makeup, so. That's why you do my makeup. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> what does beauty mean to you? Beauty to me, I think, it's not just like the physical appearance. Like beauty to me is very much watching someone go out and achieve their goal. It's like how you treat people, it's your aura, it's, you know, even with like an individual sport, I find some people forget that it is still collaborative. Yes. Um, like you've got your physios, your trainers, your chiros, like there is such a big collaboration. It's like, it's always good to just be a nice person. It's not just how we probably met, which was about adding makeup and your features on your face. It's like, I truly know you're beautiful because of who you are inside. So I love that answer. Thank you.